I'm pretty used to travel quite minimalistically but this time my hair is very static so if I look like a lion just don't pay attention to it everything is good so today has been a crazy busy day as every day for the past week almost I woke up at 5 and I'm really energized so so far so good as some of you know I'm going to LA tomorrow is the day and I still haven't packed my bag so I thought maybe we could do it together so it would be more fun for me as well because I hate packing I don't know if anyone can relate but it's not fun by the time you will have seen this video I will already be in LA but you know like I have to keep up with everything and it's really hard at the moment so I hope you won't mind these few days of delay is it delay I don't know we're gonna shoot this video pack my bag everything at the same time so I hope you guys are motivated because it's gonna take a while since I am taking so much stuff with me I thought I'd go through different sections of stuff that I'm taking okay the first one is gonna be clothing so I was going through all the stuff that I'm gonna take with to LA. I'm not sure yet. I'm taking all of that yet. Um, I'm probably going to remove some stuff like maybe 20% or 10% of what I'm taking now. I need to downsize a bit. So here are all my bottoms. So I have three shorts and four pants. So two pants and two jeans. And then onto here I have all my tops. Some like t-shirts, some long sleeves and some tank tops. Um, in here I have a dress for a night event, um, which is going to be like a birthday that we're going to be going to. I have like one cordura jacket uh, that I'm taking with. It's, then I have my Ralph Lauren uh, jacket and then I have just another long sleeve sweater. And then here I have some of my training stuff. So like cycling jersey, running tank top, and two running t-shirts. And I need to buy some cycling bib shorts because mine are in Switzerland. So I'll buy some when I go to LA because I'm also gonna bring my bike to LA because I'm gonna be cycling there. Then in here I have three shorts for uh, one yoga shorts and then two running shorts. Here I have three um what are they called sports breath i'm gonna take one other one so i'm gonna take four my bikini um a swimsuit how do you call these one piece my just my swimming swimsuit my fins and swimming cap and swimming goggles then here i just have like some shorts which i'm probably gonna use as a pj with this like vegan t-shirt and then here in the back is my underwear so just like socks and stuff like that I'm only taking four pairs of shoes which I know might seem quite a lot but you will understand why so I have my Birkenstocks vegan Birkenstocks my cycling shoes um, these are just like triathlon cycling shoes and then I have a pair of white Vans, which I love. I just washed them in the washing machine and they're like brand new So if you have a pair of vans and they're white and They're not so white anymore. <laughs> put them in the washing machine. I wash them with um, 30 degrees Celsius, so very low temperature and um, They look like brand new so do that if you have a pair of vans that you want to make it look new again and I'm taking my running shoes, which I've just got recently and I'm gonna make a whole video about them, uh, like a review, maybe after a few weeks of really training with them. Uh, these are on running shoes. This is like a Swiss company, but I know people all over the world use them um, and they have these really cool like sole stuff and they're really light and very comfy. So, so far I'm really happy with them. I'm probably gonna wear them on my trip because it's so comfy to walk in these kind of shoes. That's the last pair of shoes I'm taking. 
That's it for my clothes. Welcome to my bathroom. Now we're gonna go into toiletries. Okay, so when it comes to toiletries, I don't have a big bag for toiletries, so I prefer to store my stuff by category, kind of, and put it in smaller bags. This is my makeup bag. So as you can see, it's not really big, but I do manage to fit everything in here. I'm not taking heaps amount of stuff, obviously, because I'm not really gonna wear a lot of makeup there. I just wanna have the things I need. I don't wanna have to go and purchase stuff there i feel like also sometimes when you're traveling and you have to buy stuff then it's not really what you want but you get it because you really need it and then it's maybe not as good as the one your skin is already used to this little bag is more my survival kit in there i have everything to survive on a long flight i already put a few things in there i might add some more but to be honest i don't think there's a space for anything else i am gonna be on my period i might get my period tomorrow on the plane which really sucks so i have to prepare for that because being on your period when you're on a plane and especially in the beginning of your period it's, it can be pretty intense and not just it, it's not just only painful but you don't want to have to go to the toilet all the time it's just really annoying so anyways i'm always bringing with me my moon cup or my diva cup whatever you want to call it that's what i use like 99 percent of the time when i have my period but I'm going on a trip, so I'd rather be prepared. <laughs> so I took also some like wipes. I don't know. What are these called? I don't know what they're called. It's only written in like weird languages. Are you serious? It's not written in English? What are these called? Fuck, I can't remember the name. But yeah, you know, when you get your period and you put this in your panties, then that's what I'm taking with. Um, I like to have a few with me just in case, you know, sometimes it, sometimes I'll use the moon cup plus one of these, especially like when I'm sleeping and stuff like that, because like the moon cup is really safe, but when it comes to sleeping, it's not always that safe. I have some like cotton pads and then I have two lipsticks or chopsticks. Uh, one is tinted and one isn't. Um, yeah, I really need chopsticks all the time, whether I'm traveling or not, my lips can get really dry, especially when I'm on a plane, so I really need these. I have some tampons, um, because, you know, like, you, might, you gotta be prepared. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna use like most of them, but you know, you never know. And then here I have like some toothpaste, uh, very tiny toothpaste, which I probably got on an airplane uh, another time I took the plane and I never used it. And then the last thing I have in there is uh, some tea tree oil. It's in case I get a pimple or just like, it also calms me a lot. So maybe when I go sleep or something like that. So that's it for my survival kit. <laughs> okay, then I have this one, which can't fit much. Well, I'm gonna try to fit some stuff in it, like the most I can. So far, I've just put this little bag in there and there's just a little bit of jewelry in there. I like to take some jewelry with me when I travel. I have one of these reusable makeup remover. You can just throw it in the washing machine and you can wash them. These are really, really cool. I like to take them when I'm traveling because I don't always take coconut oil with me or, you know, it's just really convenient. You just have to take this, you put it on the water and you just remove your makeup. This is a face cleanser, which I'm gonna use to wash my face with. And um, this uh, is not the actual bottle actually. It's, it's in Switzerland. This is just, I put the, the cleanser gel in that tiny bottle. I'm gonna be taking um, what's left over of that um, bristle, which is clay that I used to wash my hair. I'll probably purchase some kind of clay or something like that in LA when I'm there. My two moisturizers. I have this one, which is my day cream. I'm gonna talk more about all my skincare routine when I get back from LA. These are just the one, the products I'm taking with me, but I have a lot of other products which I use here a lot, but it's just, I can't break everything, obviously, so I have to choose. And I think I'm just gonna take that day cream and that night cream. The two other things I'm gonna be taking are my hairbrush and my toothbrush. That's it for the toiletries, now let's go to electronics. As some of you guys know, I'm going to LA to shoot the documentary. So I do need some technology and electronics and some gear. 
right now I'm shooting with my GH4, the Video Mic Pro, and a Manfredo tripod, which the case is all the way back there. Um, it's the Be Free tripod from Manfrotto. It's really great for traveling. It's not mine, it's the one for my school. I borrowed it for my project. So let's get into a bit of the things I'm going to be taking with. I have my iPad, which I use for everything, to be honest. I have my phone, which is an old iPhone 4. I think there's nothing else to say about it. Here I have some microphones. These are um, lavaliers, so these are the microphones you tie on clothes and they're really great for interviews and things like that. Um, I have my Sennheiser HD2570 headphones. I just have my regular iPhone uh, earphones. Here I have two SD cards. I have 164 gigabytes and one eight gigabytes and I have 164 in that camera that I'm gonna be taking as well. On that camera, I have a 25 millimeter lens, which is the, this box. And in this box, I have another lens. This is the 14 140 lens from Lumix. And it's a great zoom lens. It's pretty nice. So I'm taking that with me. Then here I have my G7X. It's a good pocket size camera. I'm probably going to use it to vlog a bit in the flight and stuff. I have a gorilla tripod thingy which I will probably also use to vlog it's I use it like as a stake and then here I have my two chargers for the Canon and the Lumix with the Canon I have an extra battery and I should get an extra battery for my Lumix I might purchase this in LA I don't know this is the case for the tripod which I'm using right now my computer charger and a hard drive because when you shoot a lot of videos you gotta have a hard drive I mean whatever you're doing in life like you gotta back up your stuff so this is like full of like five years of stuff I'm also taking um, a, my journal obviously I'm gonna journal I also have my bullet journal which I'm taking so my two journals I'm taking a gift that I have um, for Walter, my friend who's hosting me there. I also have gifts for his parents. And then I have two books which I'm bringing on this trip. One is called Willpower. And then I also took documentary storytelling. Uh, this is a filmmaking book, which I never read any filmmaking books before, uh, but I'm kind of curious and my teacher recommended this to me. So I was like, this is a perfect time for me to read something like that. I might not read the whole thing. I mean, unless it's like super captivating, at least I will take some information out of it. I'm sure there's plenty of good stuff that I can learn from it. So I felt like I really need to take that book since that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in LA. So maybe I can read a bit of this in the flight as well. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm also gonna take food for the flight and then also just like wallet, passport, and all this stuff that everybody takes, I guess. So that's all I'm gonna be taking. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Um, should I be taking less stuff? Yes, I agree. <laughs> I will see if it fits, all of it fits in my luggage, which is not 100% sure yet, but I'm fingers crossed, okay? Fingers crossed. So if any of you guys are in LA at the moment, um, let me know. Write me a comment down below or send me a private message, whatever you prefer. Just let me know when you're there and maybe we can figure a time to meet up and that would be really awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in LA. Bye!